think that uh, every line, that every poet who live, who live in Israel write, it's a political, political uh, line. Uh -huh. Because uh, even you say um, sunset, the metaphor for most of the Israeli poet to, to the sunset is blood. Mm. And not, for example, wine, uh, not, for example, rose. And I feel from time to time that the poet in Israel, it's like the pianist that we see in the Western movie. Mm -hmm. Think about that. The pianist uh, doesn't put his piano in concert hall. He put his piano in a saloon, in a bar. And he say, don't shut me, I'm only the pianist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but but uh, he smell all the time. Uh, the atmosphere, the bad atmosphere, the good atmosphere. Mm -hmm. It's not a concert hall, it's a salon. It's a yeah. salon. That kind of reminds me of... That's a beautiful you, sorry, Barbara, did you want to say something? No, I was just going to say that I think what Ray makes Ronnie's poetry so interesting and so contemporary is that he uses um, street language a lot yeah. and slang a lot. Um, on the other hand, he's an amalgamation in many ways between uh, his native Iraq uh, the Arab world, as well as the, um, as well as this now home country of Israel, because their flavors. You were talking about the the flavors of the food, the flavors of the poetry, are kind of both mixed up together, and I think that makes it yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. I think that I remember once Maxine Hong Kingston said to me it was very interesting. It was at an event that we had, and I'd introduced her, and she said, you know. I find this word Asian American so exciting because to think that there's some connection between me, that's herself, and someone who comes from Guam. Mm. It is extraordinary. And for me to think there's a connection between myself and someone who comes from Japan, for instance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In India, there is a connection in the sense that Tagore thought of connections between India and Japan mm -hmm. during a renaissance of Asian literature in India. Mm -hmm. um, by Asian meaning Indian literature as it related to the further east. Right. And in America, if I read a Japanese-American writer or read a Chinese-American writer and learn from them, for me, in some ways, it's no different than reading a Latina writer right. or an Arab-American writer and learning from them. In other words, I think for us, the connections are lateral. Okay. In other words, because we, in a sense, don't have ancestral depth, I think African-American literature does. Because I think it is, in terms of America, an old literature, and I think mm. Native American writing has that. Mm -hmm. But we're immigrants. Mm -hmm. So where do we make our connections? And this is why I think the word Asian American is very interesting, because for me, it points out the multiple anchorages mm -hmm. that we have and need to have in this country in order mm -hmm. to make sense of our lives. Mm -hmm. So that's very exciting. Tell us about the anthology. It's called America, mm -hmm. with a K, because that's how Russians pronounce America. And uh, it comes out in uh, May, and it's uh, essentially a contemporary Russian view of the United States. We asked uh, some 30 uh, contemporary Russian writers living in Russia. Um, some of them may have been to the United States, most have not. Um, we asked them to write a three, four page essay on the subject of America. Mm -hmm. What comes to mind, what to think, and then we translated the, those essays and we put them together into a book. Edited. Yeah. How were those essays of scared that? Well, it's a, you know, it's a very wide range of opinion from people who are in love with America to people who intensely dislike America for a variety of reasons. A Russian attitude to America right now is very complex. Mm -hmm. Russian's view of the world is dictated by the situation in Russia and by how the United States is perceived in the world. And, you know, just there are lots of factors going into that. Mm -hmm. But some, uh, some, and so the Russian's attitude towards the United States vacillates, it goes through ups and downs, and uh, ups and downs, and depending on how circumstances develop in Russia and in the world. But in general, Russians are predisposed to liking Americans, yeah. obviously, because eventually they would like to be like Americans. They is would that like... Is a good thing or is that a bad well, thing? Well, they, 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 want, they, want they want to live a better life. So we have a whole range of, uh, of essays there from people who are fairly sophisticated, they have been to the United States, they are well-known writers there. Um, and uh, they say what they want to say about the United States. It's a very interesting book, I think. One of the reasons why many people haven't heard of Arab American poetry is that the anthologies uh, have not made a place for them, especially Khalil Gibran, 
who's worth the profit. I guess yeah. most people have heard of the profit, and, and if you haven't, you should. Uh, 136 printings, millions and millions of copies, and it is not in one major American anthology. Yeah.